hello guys this is Ahmed DHL boy and today I'm going to show you how to create uh, quizzes inside go high level I know we can create the quizzes inside the courses and memberships but uh, what if you want to have a quiz on your landing page or funnel or website so I'm going to show you how to create that kind of quiz so I'm gonna share my screen and let's see how it actually works okay so here I am the first thing I have is I have created a survey and mine is very simple with the two questions but you can always have like more questions based on your requirement but the process is going to be the same throughout so this is my quiz my first quiz and let it be just opened so I have one question with five different options to select from and then the same thing I have for the second question and then I am just asking for the their name phone and email so you can always add more questions. it's not gonna affect the process that I'm going to show you and then based on the answers of these questions I'm gonna give them a scores and then I will be sending them those scores uh, uh, you know via email and also I will show you how to send them a different email based on their scoring so for example if their score is less than 10 then you can send them an email one then if their score is between 10 to 20 then you can send them a different email you know in terms to show them how what are their next steps so in my case what i'm gonna do is if someone selects a strongly disagree i'm gonna give them one point if someone select disagree then two points neutral three points agree four points and strongly agree five points the same thing i'm gonna do with the question number two so let's see how I'm gonna do this. So I have this questionnaire or we call it survey inside go high level. So I have this survey now I'm going to actually build a workflow for this so that I can assign the points that I explained. So I'm going to create a workflow. I will be building it from scratch. First thing that I'm gonna do is I will name my workflow okay I actually want to allow multiple on that's fine okay my trigger in this case is going to be survey submitted which is straightforward but I will apply filter just to make sure I'm not triggering this workflow for any other survey that I want and then I actually keep saving with each step so I don't miss any you know updates okay so the first thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use if else condition I'm gonna duplicate this because I need this as well I actually need my questions but let it be just opened I will go back and I go to sites service builder Let's just take the preview. So this is the first question that I have in my survey. Okay, here I am going to create the if else condition. So I will just put that, just label that condition accordingly so I know what's happening. And now on the branches, I am actually going to create the branch based on each of my options. So I will have like five branches. For example I'm gonna have one branch for strongly disagree and here I'm going to select contact details the same questions that I put above which is right here I am hard I am hard on myself is strongly disagree so if uh, someone selects uh, strongly disagree against this question then I will have this branch and now I'm actually going to duplicate the branches to make them okay in this case it's going to be disagree I will duplicate this branch again and then this time it's going to be I think it didn't duplicate so let's just duplicate it again here it is I'm gonna make it say agree and 
actually it's going to be neutral and then I duplicate this again to make it agree and then my last one is going to be strongly agree so we'll duplicate this there we go strongly agree and here I'm gonna select strongly agree so I will keep the none branch as it is let's just save it okay so as soon as the survey is submitted we are gonna check what answer they provided us with this question so if they provide us strongly disagree and then what I'm gonna do here is I have actually created a custom field you can just go to settings and then go to custom fields and here I have actually created a custom field which is called quiz score and you just need to uh, remember that this custom field should be the number type we cannot select any other one because we will be using the math operation so if this is strongly agree what I'm gonna do is I will update score quiz with the value 1 because I'm assigning them one point so that's what it is now I will be copy this to all I will make it two in this case then I will copy action for the neutral it's going to be three now you can assign your own scores based on your requirement and your flow I'm just showing you how you set this up so this one is going to be four and then the last one is going to be five cool so the step one is done on the based on the answers for the first questions we have assigned them the different points and different scores now the next step is going to be again actually we need a conditional logic here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually grab this condition from here so I will just do this uh, let me take this away so copy all actions and I'm gonna put this right here and now we will be doing this go to this condition so that you know if they answered strongly disagree to the first question we have updated the scores now we are going to check the answers for the second question I will update the second questions in a second but let's just connect all those dots for this one I don't need go to because it directly going the same way and then go to here same thing with this I will leave the none because this scenario will not be existing in our case you know because either they will have to select any of these five options otherwise they cannot go to the next slide of the survey so we can just leave the none part as it is so let me just save this and now what I'm gonna do here is now let's see what's the next question pardon me so this is our next questions I'm gonna copy it over go back here so this is the second condition and then here we are gonna actually uh, look for our own question which is this and rest of the options will stay same strongly disagree and then for disagree I have copied it over so I will select this is disagree for the neutral it's going to be neutral for agree it's going to be agree 
the last one is is strongly agree there we go and now before updating this custom field what we have to do is we actually need math operation so I will do math operation okay so here we have to select the field which is going to be quiz so this is that's why I mentioned earlier that we have to use the number field because uh, other no other field other than the number field we can select in the math operation so if you want to use the math operation you will can only use it on the number or numeric field so that's why we created quiz score as a numeric field and then we are gonna add the value here so now the points for this option of the second question is again one so I will be adding one value to this custom field whatever previously they selected if they selected previously strongly uh, disagree then they will have one question option one point there but then we you know we are adding based on the next option and then again we are actually going to update the same custom field there we go and at this point we actually don't need this because we have already updated the custom field in the math operation so I can just get rid of this oh we actually don't need this And I don't need this either okay so this is the math operation I'm gonna use the same one the only thing that I'm going to change is add value so for the second option we want to add two there we go for the neutral I just copy it over here I want to add three this time copy action here copy action here and then there we go so now you can just keep adding the conditions and then the same for it you know you can just uh, from here you can just copy all and then you can just put them under here and then from all of these you can just put go to and then the same format you can just use math operation to add the values based on the answer whatever they selected and now once you reach to the last question that what you want to do is now if you want to send the different emails based on their scores you can just do this let's say because I only two questions so I will say uh, score based email distribution okay so between one to five let's say contact details I'm gonna search for score so here we can see is less than five okay or maybe less than or equals to five less than or equals to five there we go and then let's just duplicate it to make it to six to ten the condition is going to be greater than 5 and quiz score less than or equals to 10 there we go you can have like different options here for example for this one you can always say uh, greater than or equals to 6 so you can all 
do this as well so now based on this you can have different branches and then before doing that just make sure you connect the dots to the right point so go to and here the same thing we are gonna do for all the branches here I need two more go to's and the last one for this so now here I created only two branches because I have only two questions so the maximum number can someone have is 10 so now based on this I can you know just say this send email and then you can have whatever you want to say you can always use chat GPT to get the copy if you want so here we are sending them this email and then you can just put it here and you can update the copy for this email so now this is our final workflow so let me just give you a recall what happened is as soon as someone submit the survey then we are going to check what the answer was of the first question if they selected strongly disagree we are updating the contact field with the points that we want to assign in my case i signed one two three four five okay and then i dragged all of them go to the next question now we're gonna see what I get uh, what answer I get for the second question if it was strongly disagree I'm gonna add one to the existing value if they selected disagree I'm gonna add two to the existing value and then same for three four five and then I'll go to the next and then we are gonna check how much is their final score then based on the score we can send them email so that was it if you have guys not subscribed my youtube channel please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you can get updates from me i'll be posting all the useful content related to go high level we'll see you in the next video thank you